I was really disappointed, she says, adding that Australian mainstream television is very different since the legislation of same-sex marriage, it was never just about marriage, it was about equality. And the world has changed so much in the last few years. A gender revolution has gone on and queer people have become so much more visible. I think people understand that dressing in drag is actually a fun and fabulous thing. A lot of the questions have been answered and people have realized that, whether it's a drag queen or a gay person or a bisexual, we're the same as other people. And we like to dance on dancing shows to keep people entertained, hosted by Amanda Keller and 2006 winner Grant Denyer 10's new season has shaken up the judging panel. Beloved tough judge, Todd McKenney has been replaced with Britain's Strictly Come Dancing resident Tuffy, Ballarat-born choreographer, Craig Revel Horwood. Joining him are Irish dancer Tristan McManus and Wagga Wagga-born US Dancing with the Stars winner, Sharna Burgess. Of the contestants, which includes actor Samuel Johnson, cricketer Sir Kurt Lee Ambrose, mummy blogger Constance Hall and Children's. Entertainer, Jimmy Reese, a.k.a. Jimmy Little, Courtney Act feels most threatened by fitness guru, Michelle Bridges. She has aligned herself with veteran entertainer, Benice Scott. Benice is just hysterical and so much fun to be around. We're either going to end up with a double act or we're going to get in trouble because we just giggle on together like naughty school girls, like Scott, Courtney Act has had plenty of dancing experience, but she insists that ballroom is another kettle of fish, maybe in a nightclub show. I've done a drag queen version of a tango, but mostly I sing. I don't move around a lot. Ballroom choreography is technical and confusing. It's not like learning another language. It's like unlearning a language, but it makes you feel really alive. In the beginning, I was rooted and then after three weeks, I ended up with more energy. Your body starts breaking down those fat cells and turning them into muscle, which is lovely given that Mardi Gras is just around the corner, dancing to raise awareness. And, if she wins, $50,000 for Indigenous Youth Organization, Black Rainbow, she says, in 2019, it's really important to be thinking outside your box. Minority identities intersect and I think the way we can get ahead is by reaching across the threshold and using our own privileges to support each other.